All right, what's up, YouTube? Uh, so, quick disclaimer first. First things first. I just recorded a 45-minute video of this. Not just, but uh, early this morning. Um, and I actually really enjoy playing it because of how hard it is um, and, and how the, uh, the XP is in this game. I'll explain in a second. And um, basically, I didn't save the game. I totally forgot to save. So I went back into it, and it was deleted. And I have to restart. Um, now, granted, I'm hoping I get one or two different mons. I'm thinking about something, and this is now a really big decision for me to make. So this is Emerald Kaizo, one of the hardest games ever, if not the hardest. I know for me personally, it is the hardest game I've ever played. The only game I've never been able to beat that I've played through is um, Radical Random. And the only reason why I couldn't beat it was because my randomizer just didn't give me the Pokemon that I needed to beat it. Like, I needed, like, Venusaurs and shit like that, and I, I just didn't get them. Um, so that was unfortunate. Um, but Radical Red's a game. Here, the thing is with Radical Red, you can beat Radical Red, um, especially if you're using EV training and IV training. This game has nothing to do, I don't believe. It could be somewhere... But I don't believe EV and IV training are a part of this game. Um, so it's literally just based on what can you do without being able to use potions. That is the biggest thing. The best thing you can get in this game, and I do not know where to get it yet. I hope I can find it, is Berry Juice. I believe it heals 60 HP. It's basically a berry that heals 60 HP, which is fucking clutch. But until you find that, you get Orin Berries, which... Helps you mid early or early game, but after that, like you have to win without healing, which is what makes it hard because you have to just really outplay your opponent. Also, the level cap, the levels in this game are super hard. Um, this is my choice though. When I first played through the session, I picked Mudkip, but then I also could have found a Poliwag and a Wingle. And both were pretty prominent. Now, I am nuzlocking this, by the way, to make it harder. So I was thinking about, all right, what else would help me? Uh, Trico, maybe. But that's if its movesets changed. Otherwise, it gets quick, quick attack, absorb, um, pursuit. Doesn't have a mega drains till later. Uh, like, like with a grow vial. And, and it's really not really, really viable until Leaf Blade with Sceptile. Um, until then, it's really not great. Torchic gets double kick when it evolves, but it also gets Ember, which is um, special, which it, it's a physical special attacker, so that works. Um, but for the most part, like Mudkeep, I feel like is the best for the fact that it's water ground. Not very long in there. For the fact that it's, it's water ground, um, which is amazing for the first gym decent for the second gym and great for the third gym um but at the same time like a polywag which isn't as useful for the third gym is good for the first two gyms wingle is good for the first two gyms and it's like do i take the chance of making wingle useful enough for the first two gyms and go with torchic late game or go with Trico because Trico can still help almost in those same situations. I'm just not a big fan of it. But I think I didn't find many grass types. But grass doesn't really help with anything other than water, rock, and ground, which water also helps with. So the only thing that it helps with is it's... Um, I believe it resists electric and it's neutral to electric when that's super effective to water. So while well, fire is neutral, neutral, this is a big decision I want, I have to make because this, this decides the rest of my playthrough, what I need to capture. Like I got to go in depth with this shit. So I'm trying to think about this logically, right? So Trico, grass type, weak to fire, uh, what's good against fire, water. Uh, water and ground, um, mainly. Uh, it's also weak to ice. Uh, what's good against ice? Fire. What's good against... It's also weak to bug or poison. Or both. But I believe I will be able to handle those. Um, 
fuck. I don't like Trico, man, but we're doing it. I don't I don't think Trico is the best option, dude. I think maybe the 114 is ridiculous. The special attack is nice. It gets quick attack too. Ugh. I'm really I'm really thinking that uh because I believe it gets absorbed at level six, so that would be good. Hopefully I don't start missing. Oh, look, look at this too. Zigzagoon might be a good option. Um because of it having berry like every Zigzagoon I've ever ran into had fucking berry juice. So I needed to hit one more time here. One more. I lost to the Zigzagoon when I picked Mudkip, by the way, because right here, I could not hit anything. And it's going to happen again. The Sand Attack, Zigzagoon. Oh, yes, we got it this time. Okay. Um, Zigzagoon is kind of nasty. I'm going to be real with you. Like, Swift, that's a 60 base power stab move. Basically, just a little less than fucking Headbutt. Like, and you get that when you catch it like that's dope uh my boy will gets this nickname because will's my homie i have a couple nicknames already planned out for family and friends and stuff so i'm just i'm a little nervous the xp is really hard in this game it was my mom at oh you get that when you come back it's really hard to grind up with only quick attack on trico i don't know man what is she messing with? I kind of just been letting her do her thing. I figured she couldn't really hurt it that bad. Yeah, she didn't last very long. Oh, I might have lost the pots. Nothing. Oh, I didn't put this into perspective. Well, I've got but I'm also weak to flying. <laughs> so I'll need like an electric. Oh, I definitely just use like peck or something. But... Also weak to fly. I gotta keep. I really gotta keep that I'm weak to fly in consideration. Into consideration. Flying, ice, poison. We'll talk about it. I don't know. I mean, that might be the best bet. And then play Alexa. Ah, see, like up here, I, I can't win up here. Because the odds are I'll find a Wingle at that top route. And I get... Wingle has Wing Attack right off the bat. So... What? Oh, yeah. You'll survive. Anyway, you get the day off tomorrow or the next day, so. I definitely need to get to level six. I mean, Absorb doesn't help me, but the level will. And then I think with Quick Attack, I don't think Torture can beat me. But I definitely need to get to level six first. But, the, like, I want to I go battle up there, but because they're higher, they're level four, I believe. Or, or three to five, actually, I think you can find. I don't think you find many level fives, but... It's it's really what makes this game hard is the fact that it's a Kaizo and Kaizo makes hard fucking games. Like I said, a Zigzagoon with Sand Attack and Swift. Especially also another thing in this game is like things like Sand Attack. It's it's like it works. It actually works. Uh, the other one was level two, so this will be even harder. Yeah, I don't think I'm fucking around with this. I would take. I'm gonna be. Honest, I'll take a Zigzagoon. I'll take a zigzagoon. It doesn't really help me for the first two gyms, because obviously, like ground, the rock, or whatever. But like after that, okay, my quick attack's faster, so level six, absorb, which isn't absorb for Trico is not bad. It's not a great move, twenty base power, but it is special, and Trico special attacks really good, which is why I cannot wait to get fucking. If I can get to Sceptile with Leaf Blade, I'll be, I'll be. Good against any water, ground, or rock type. But the question is, do I really want Wingle? Like, do I want something else? Like, I'll take even a Poliwag. That I will... I don't know what its moveset's going to be. But I don't think I really want it. 
gets pursued. Oh, hi, baby. Peck. Oh, pursuit again. I don't. I definitely don't want a Spiro. I'd rather. I'd probably rather Pidgey over a Spiro, to be honest. This is the other thing. I can get the fishing rod right here. This gives me an extra encounter right here, which is fucking great. So that gives me a water type. If I don't get the Wingle here, at least I can get like maybe a Goldeen. But like this is what I'm talking about. Let me just show you what I was talking about. Why I said I didn't want to face off against the Wingle. Watch this. Watch this. Wing attack. He used water gun. He has wing attack. He is supposed to be smarter, too. Is he going to let me kill him? Also level 40, like I said. He's going to let me kill him. Good shit. Thanks, Wingle. Still, he has wing attack. That's an absolute fact. But So, I can't get that extra encounter. Even, honestly, even if it gives me a magic carp, right? Worst case scenario, magic carp. Going to be hard to train. That is a definite. But if I can, fucking Gyarados might be nice, man. I'm going to be real. Gyarados might be nice. But that, that would involve so much. Like, first, I'd have to get far enough to get the XP share. Then I'd have to use it perfectly. Because I wouldn't just be able to use it all the time. Because I need my levels. So I'd have to grind up to a level that I think is worth being. For, like, whatever gym I'm about to face. And then try to like battle trainers that are left. I do nothing. Okay, Torchic does not have speed boost, bro. It gives Torchic speed boost. I literally okay. I okay. I can win this fight. I lost because of the the crit. I lost because of the crit. That's why I lost. So I'm not even mad. I'm just I'm actually annoyed that they gave Torchic speed boost instead of Blaze. Blaze would have been way better. I mean, it, I'm actually really not. I mean, neither one is like virtually effective here because Blaze doesn't have a fire type move and speed boost doesn't matter because I have quick attack. So don't crit me this time. We do like the same number of damage I attack first. I will win. Dude, that speed boost is so. I make it feel like even with quick attack, that it's going to outspeed me because of speed boost. Dude, this thing's speed is maxed out. It's about to be. But either way, I told you the crit mattered. The crit won. But not this time. So, you know, this wouldn't be too bad. I found a Meowth in the other playthrough, and it has payday on it, which isn't even bad because you make like an extra like $150 to $200 plus. Stop spilling your bottle. Nope, you don't get it anymore. You know better. Just lose that shit. So, man, it's it's it has been a long time, and I'm still not progressing very far. I feel like there's a poopy in there now. You need us to change the diety? We'll change the diety in a second. What? You want this? Don't spill it. Okay, let me get to level seven. Just to be safe. See, the good thing with this is I do have a absorb. So I can gain. Wow, absorb actually did a hell of damage. And then Absorb comes in clutch. What are you trying to do? Okay, level 7. Really? Really, Trico? At level 7, this motherfucker learns Pound. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Do you want to go in there? Look. You're right next to Daddy. Come here. What? What? Come on. Go get mommy. Daddy's trying to record. Go get mommy. You know you love mommy more than daddy anyway. Your mommy's little girl. I, okay, so back to this now. We start the Nuzlocke, and this is when things get tough. 
uh, what makes it tough isn't isn't that the, the it's tough. It's that you really have to fucking grind, dude. Like you have to grind, dine. My child is just being weird. All right, first encounter, Zigzagoon. I don't even want it. I'm being legit. I don't want it. But I'll catch it. Puccina. I mean, a dark type, not bad at all. I call you Pucci. I don't even know if that's how you spell that or not. Can you stop being all up in my business? Hey, girl, be all up in your own business. <laughs> no. High five. High five. Good girl. Ow. Get your booty butt over here. Get your booty butt over here. Why are you being moody tonight, huh? Why are you being so moody tonight? <laughs> Lay down, sweet pea. Is Poochiana even worth it, dude? <laughs> Not fucking really, dude. Damn it! I was really, I really wanted a zigzagoon. I would have taken that over Poochiana any day. Uh, I'm in a dark type. It's not bad. If I can get bite, like, early on, that would be the most... That would be the, the best case scenario is getting bite by, like, five or six. Like, that would be incredible. No, so this thing can definitely kill me. A level two Wurmple can almost kill a level two Puccina. That is how bad this Puccina is. But the XP, though... See, that's another thing i got to take into consideration is Pokemon that normally aren't that great because, like, you know, I usually tend to try to get Pokemon, or if I can, try to get Pokemon that's XP grind is fairly easier. Um, that way I can get them to their good move sets early on. So something like a Puccina that can gain levels quickly is actually super fucking useful. Also, good crit. Well, that's an easy one now. So this one pool doesn't stand a chance. Thanks to my Poochina. Alright, maybe this isn't the worst play. I mean, Bite, Crunch. It can even get Pursuit, which is Stab. Bite's obviously Stab. All physical is basically a physical attacker. Look at that, it's only 15 XP. It's just like half my bar. Normally, I could do that battle. In real life, in a normal Pokemon battle, that's a winnable fight. In Kaizo, not so much. Not so much a winnable fight. It's fucking barely winnable for fucking Trico. Uh-oh. Are we gonna have to... Are we gonna have to run from this? Are we gonna have to run from this battle? With a fucking level 3 Zigzagoon because of Zorb? I right, like... Dude, I need one more hit. It needs to hit me. Oh, well... This might... Yeah, no, fuck that, dude. Dude. That's why... That's the main reason I wanted it. Cause I could even take the berry juice off of Zigzagoon. And then just, like, save it. Oh, can I cheat? I just thought of something. I just thought of something. Alright. So, technically, this would be cheating. But you guys have to tell me if you consider this cheating. Um, imagine if... I caught a bunch of Zigzagoons... And just took the berry juice off of them and then released them. So, like, I wouldn't have them on my team. But, like, imagine, I can buy 80 Pokeballs. But, it would give me the berry juice. Oh. Oh, this is a... This is a thought. I'm just being honest. This is a... This might be the play. Wait, isn't Poison Sting super effective? It's a little scary. I'll be honest. Unless it just decides it doesn't want to fucking use it, then that's cool too. It is. 
And the bump town critted, so. Oh, Pugina, you're so close. Oh, you have cute charm, and not doing that. Uh, I do have Runaway, too. That can be useful. Sentry. I think this also gets Swift. No, but it does get a very strong Quick Attack. Quick Attack Stab, man. Shit's deadly. Okay, so it took me down to 11, 8. This should give me back quite a bit of health, though. I forgot, they don't have a lot of health, though. Wow, it critted me. Wow. I mean, that was a little close to call there. Level 4. Alright, Sand Attack. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it learning Sand Attack. I'm totally down with that. Okay, so here's what my rule is. My rule is, I'm going to try this game without using the Zigzagoon Cheat. Right? However, late game, if I cannot find Berry Juice... I will come back to this. I will run through the whole game, come back to this fucking spot, and get me berry juice. Wingle, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Don't wing attack me, please. Oh, I thought that was even going to do more damage than that. That's six. Fuck, this is a problem. I'm like, I was like, yo, so hyped to get a wingle, and then it just occurred to me. Like, it could kill. I have to catch it. On this ball, I have to catch it. Oh, then God. Alright, I got a team. I got a team. I don't really need to use the rod now. Uh, we'll name this... We'll name this after my boy Harry. Because uh, he's cool as shit. He works with me at Wendy's. He's a cool-ass manager. So... A oh, fucking lady, bro. Get your lady ass the fuck out of here. Lady was actually not a bad catch. I would have taken it. It gets Silver Wind, which is, I believe, like a 60 or 70 base power bug move. Uh, the only real problem with this bug's physical in this game, and I, I don't think Lady Boy has any great attack or special attack, so. I just want to see now what I could have gotten with this. Or what I can get with it. It's not what I could have gotten, it's what I can get. Hold on. Oh, I always forget. Is it still just magic card? No, Remoraid. Hmm. It has Psybeam. I don't know how much that did. This shouldn't kill. And does it only know like side beam? Because then I can just keep Poochie in and I had to. I'll take it. It has side beam, so that's kind of cool. And it evolves into Octillery, which is not a bad water type by any means. I know I have Wingle, but gives me the extra. We'll call you, we'll call you Remy. I don't know. I feel like somebody's name is Remy somewhere. Is it Remy? It looks weird, but we'll do it this way. I don't give a fuck. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Probably, but Remoraid. Water trades accuracy. It's got hostile trades accuracy for power. It's not even that bad. And then side beam psychic is special. It's special attacks not great, and it's not stab, but sixty-five base power. Move on the other hand is fantastic. However, what's your? Not bad. Ninety-one. Not great. Not great. Like I'd prefer to say like seventy, but we'll take it. We got a team of four, and we're about to have a team of five, right? Yeah. Let's check it out. You know what? I'm going to try this grass over here. Uh, 
How much does Quick Attack do to me? Way too much. Way too much to stay in. See, this is my problem now. I don't know if I'll be. I have to. Yeah, I have to grind. I definitely have to grind, dude. Get assisted in the sand attack. That sucks. I need absorb to hit for sure. And I need it to hit again. And God. Some clutched up. Zigs again. Can you send attack? Because I have keen eye. So we take that out of the equation. <laughs> but I can't do that. And I, I lose. I forgot to grind my team first, man. What was I thinking? Ah, that sucks. That really sucks, man. All because I didn't grind. I literally, I literally said at the start of the game, I need to grind because I will lose. Like I don't even want to win at this point. I can kill it now, but now it's oh. Real quickly, I didn't make the rule set. I'm gonna do that now, just in case I actually win this fight. Um. Well, that was stupid. Uh. Yeah, I'm not beating this. So that's fine. Uh, I do get two revives throughout the entire series. Two. And there's a Dragon Rage Claws up to um, the second gym. So there's that as well. Dude, at level 6, this thing has Bite and Rock Smash. I guarantee you mine won't have Bite or Rock Smash. I did lose. That's an official thing. Hold on. Hold on. So obviously, I team grind is fucking needed. I might as well just get the encounter and then fuck it. Miss me off. Honestly, hold on a second. I had me off in the last one. I don't want me off. I want something different. Should have taken me off. The fact that that's good. Ah. <sighs> I don't think any of the items are like randomized or anything, so I should be able to get a Moonstone and get a Nido King. So, yeah, I guess this is good then. For that. Also, I can't believe this thing just broke out of that Pokeball. There we go. So, Nido ran. We're just going to call you. We're going to call you King, because that's what you're going to be when you evolve. King. And also, real quick, because I'm not retarded. There you go. All right, so now I have a full team. I mean, I don't know how much better my team could be, to be honest. Like, maybe catching like a... Like, I don't know. Like my team's not bad by any means, and now it's really about the XP at this point. So let's take a look. So thirty, you're not gonna get much. Twenty-four, that's not bad. Sixteen, fifty-seven, level six. That's actually really good. Hex physical is more physical attack. Oh, they're both physical. Uh, poison stab though. So. I will start with Remy because of the fact that it has side beam and I'm sure it can get like bubble beam and stuff. I'd take a drink and talk a lot. See how much damage you can do to a sand shrew. Damn near nothing. Damn near nothing. Oh my god, okay. Um, 
Yeah, you shouldn't be able to, like, I should one-shot you, right? Like, from this point. Ah, don't, don't kill. Oh, God, that did so much damage. He's level 6. Dude, even these Pokemon are stronger than me. But, now we're, now we're getting up there. Two Pokemon just got a level, which is really good. Really, really good. Sandstream might be a really good XP grinder because I, I don't know if it's split in this game or not, but if it is, that would be 64 experience for one mon if you don't switch. So I want I want Remy to get a level because Octillery doesn't need a Water Stone, I don't believe. I believe it involves my level up. Penny's going to hurt. Seven? Oh, sorry, dude. Not that. I think Poochina is going to be the... I'm going to have to go to a different spot to train the Poochina. Nine? Okay, that should do less. I'm using a revive. That's so trash, dude. It fucking crits me. I haven't gotten a single fucking crit. They get all the crits. Look, another fucking crit. Are you kidding me with these crits, dude? Alright, well, I live, unless it crits me again. Thank God. That was, I could have just ran from that. I don't know why I didn't do that. Whatever. That was trash. Alright, so there's one of my revives. I got one left. Can't believe Wingo just died. I'm going to have to train in the other. I, the problem is, training anywhere else, the XP is just not good enough. And training here, it's hard to get a win because my team's just not that strong. Like, honestly, what I might have to do, maybe I'll try King, is try to get somebody up to, like, 8, so that I know I can win the fight. The poison off. That's good. Trigo can pretty much win any fight, even at level 7. So, I'm pretty confident I can switch train fairly easily. I don't I don't think it does split though. We'll see. I mean, at level 6, it's like I thought somebody was poisoned. Oh, no, no. Meowth was poisoned. That's right. Oh, this is going to take so long. Like, my team's not even that bad, but against these Pokemon, they just, they're not great. And any nothing else really gives the great experience. All right, who's, who needs the least amount? 28. All right, Poochina only needs 16. And hopefully he gets either Rock Smash or Bite. Like, that's really what's needed right now. It's going to go back and forth on this PG, and I win this fight. So I'm going to make that perfectly clear. Oh my god, I missed. I think I just died. I lived on one and killed it. Bite, please bite. Clutch. That is a 60 base power move. Stat. Alright, Poochina. I'm going to try to grind it up over here now, now that it actually has a move it can utilize. Only base, only base 10 at level 5? What's level 5? 12 for special, 13, 13 and 12. I mean, honestly, it's just, it's not that great. The only thing that can really make Poochina, or it might even be good, is it gets, um, it's how and how it can be deadly. I mean, bite does do a significant amount of damage and it can flinch, which is nice. Yeah, fuck your poison thing. If I don't kill here, I'm dead. Good shit, Poochina. That's level six, baby. Good shit, Poochina. Alright, so definitely the best thing about Poochina, besides having bite, which is super dope, 
is its XP grind really quickly. Dude, I've been recording for a grip. I haven't even faced a trainer yet. That is how hard this game is, man. This game really requires, like, this is going to be a long, long series. Because, obviously, if I lose, I'm just going to... Wow, an electric With Thundershock already. How useful is that? Not really. So I was going to try to make like some kind of trade off. Like I get rid of whatever the fuck I have. And instead I take um, a life trade. But okay, so that is what I thought. So this is weak to me, but I'm neutral to him. So, but the paralysis is going to suck. <sighs> Oh, absorb. So that's good. And King's Thunder Wave and Thunder Shock does almost nothing to me. So, in that sense, and there's the paralysis. I'm not. 44, 44 more. Trico's almost level 8. My team's definitely getting up there. I mean, they all have to be at least level 6. That's a guarantee. Because they're all level 6. So, like, they got to be at least level 6. I want to get them even stronger. Like, at least a level higher. Like, 7. But, I mean, honestly, Winkle's the only one that's really... I wanted to try to get Poochie up. I bet you that 44 XP did a lot. Yep. Maybe I'll do Poochie again. Just because now that it has Bite, I think I can beat that trainer. Literally with just Poochie Oh, well, maybe not. He's not going to outspeed everything. So we know you can win this fight. Thank God. Bite is such a good move. And plus that Sandshrew's XP is great, dude. Fantastic. Okay, so now that that's done, switch over here. The Wingle is going to be clutch too because that wing attack. See, this is what I'm worried about. I'm honestly worried about Meowth. Like, I want... I want Sandshrews is what I really want. Because that's the good... A gulp? I haven't seen a fucking gulp in yet. Wow, you're kind of bulky, and I'm really not trying to go to sleep. What? I mean, you fall asleep immediately. Does that have, like, an ability? Or does Yon just do that now? What the fuck? That's weird. No, that's, like, really fucking weird. Gulpin could be useful with that then. If I ever get a Gulpin later. But with the Meowth, dude, that payday is fucking bad. Let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. Six. Nope. Oh, no. That's, I'm not, I'm not even counting the death. If I can't run, that's bullshit. No, I'm not. I can't. I should be able to escape. I am a flying bird. I'm not counting the death. I'm not using a revival on that. Fuck that. Not gonna let me escape from a fucking Meowth, dude. Get the fuck out of here. So, death like that, I'm, I'm not counting. Not in this series, dude. Fuck that. I'll count legitimate deaths that happen, but not something off the bullshit of this game. It's already hard enough. You gotta add shit like that into it. Okay, so I two shot a sand shrew. Not bad. Plus, that's an easy level. Okay, so level six, level six. I think everything's level six right now. I really want to get Remorade up, but I do. Like, Remorade's really not great. Like, cool, Psybeam's nice. But it's not stab. And it's special. Yeah, no, this yawning situation just isn't going to fly with me. Uh, do I try to take it on again? My team's a little bit better. Like, Poochie now has Bite. Let's see what happens. Everything's level 6 now, so... Let's see if it makes a difference. Okay, so I... I Alright, alright, good start. 
Good start. Fantastic. Great start, actually. Another Poochina. Hmm. 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 It's a big thought process. All right, Wingo, come in clutch, baby. Come in clutch. Let this motherfucker know. Oh. Okay, so I... I only does half my health. But how does it have Super Fang? Mine doesn't have Super Fang. I don't really want it to have Super Fang. Now this... This is when I gotta make plays. I gotta make plays out here now. This might not be the best switch option. My plan is I can attack first. Psybeam did a decent amount. Two hits off. Get the confusion. Hit yourself. Oh, baby. Yes, Remoraid. That's what I needed, bro. I needed Remoraid to step up like that, and he fucking did it. Thank you, Remoraid. Good shit. Good shit fucking Remoraid, yo. Wow. Sorry to late as shit, but... And I gotta let my, my fiance get to bed here shortly. Because she's gotta work tomorrow, so... In about 15 more minutes or so, maybe we get to the next town. Maybe we fucking don't. Also, what would have happened if I would have found a pony? I would have been a gulpin. That's like a YouTube thing to say that. But All right, so now let me look at something real quick. 28, 30, 10, 28. All right, I'm going to get everything. I know this sounds weird, but I'm going to get everything up a level. A fucking far-fetched? You can't be that good, right? You kind of are that good. A sand attack might have fucked you, though. No, good shit. That also should give, yeah, a lot of XP. Okay, so Puccina gets his level up. Trico, you can get your level up. Also, Puccina's not my highest level Pokemon. But I trust you to beat a Meow. It's only a level below you, and it crits you right off the bat. Doesn't double crit you, so that's good. You're going to constantly get health back. How risky is this fight right now? I, I think I win. Even on a crit, I think I win. Because I think it would have done 10, right? Something around that. But get the kill, get the win. Now tree goes up a level. Let's not keep doing it that way. Also, real quick, I want to save. Also, I forgot to do that. I want to save. I forgot to save last time. It ruined everything. Now, I actually like this team. And my other team was not as good. I'll be honest. It was uh, I, I still had Wingle. I had like Meowth, Wingle, and Mudkip. And then I got a, uh, a Cubone in another route, which was... Kinda cool, but its XP grind is ridiculous. So what else? Wait, wait, wait. so Europe. Yeah, that's right. We're playing this legit. Also, Spoink's actually scary in this game because it gets confusion. I'll show you what I mean. There you go. Fucking confusion. What's good against Psychic? Poison? Nope. Psychic's good against me. I'm very glad I lived that. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I'm retarded. It's, it's only move is confusion, and this is super effective. I don't know why that wasn't my first play. Okay. Oh, quick attack. Nice. Hey, King, you didn't gain the level, bro. I think it needed 30. I think he needs 5 more XP. <laughs> Three. That's funny. Three more XP. How much does Remy need? Thirteen. Okay, so I might just send in this and then switch to Remy if I have to. And then they'll both get a level up. I might not be switching to Remy now. 
Should I get off the poison? That didn't work. Poochie can tank it. Barely. But bite does a lot, so I should effectively do that. Okay, so King's now level 7. Still didn't learn shit. I'm really hoping that King's moveset got a little bit better, man. Because if it's going to survive with Poison Sting Peck and it gets double kick, like everything else got an upgraded moveset, but fucking one of the best Pokemon in the game based off of TM usage doesn't get shit. It's going to kind of suck. But I can't get a Nidoking. King. And that is super useful. So Side Beam, it is. Okay, so six. This happening is just not that useful. Okay, I can take another one. Unless he crits me. Actually, I can take another one. The reason I'm doing this is because I want it to be as low as possible for when I do this. Because then I can just quick attack it. That was the plan. And it worked. Now remember level 7. And <laughs> fucking... Learns Bubble Beam. Fantastic. That's literally the best thing I could have gotten. A special... Uh, it's automatically special. But a water type 65 base power move. Fantastic. So now everything pretty much except Trigo has a solid move. So for instance, Bubble Beam, Bite, Wing It's Out, oh, and King. But that's probably not going to happen. But everything else is solid. Wrong attack. You got lucky. Now you're gonna hit with the right attack, and now you're dead. I can told you. I was joking. No, nope. you're gonna get eaten alive by my Remy, dude. Having Bubble Beam, dude. I know, like, I have another Water type with Water Gun, but Bubble Beam's so much fucking better. Hell yeah! Now we can just steamroll. Skakuna has Iron Defense, which doesn't matter because my Bubble Beam is special. Oh, Iron Defense, cute. Also, Berry Juice, nice. Um, also, also, look at the difference having Bubble Beam did for Remy, dude. Now it's doing, now it's two shotting things. Before it's like a four or five, maybe even a six shot. Level eight. I told you. Once Remy got Bubble Beam, man, it was a wrap. It was a wrap. I got three level eights all of a sudden. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. The Iron Defense, it might live this one. We'll see. Oh, no, it's definitely living. But here's how you want to play that Iron Defense play. Water Gun. All I'm saying. I got the moves. I got the moves. You get out of here with your fucking tackle, Cascoon. What the fuck you think this is? Boom. So now that I have a good mon like Remy, it's time to maybe try to switch Train King. Because I need King. First of all, I need to know if his moveset gets any better. Um, one, two. If it doesn't, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. That's the big problem. I don't know how I'm supposed to use this thing. I didn't mean to even attack. Oh no. So it didn't even do that much. Uh, can you handle a present? Why does Eggly Buff get present? Thanks for healing me though. But now back to my question. Why does this thing get fucking present? Just out of curiosity. I don't even know what it said, but I'll make the switch. Sun current. Okay. Well, I have two moves that are super effective. I do knew that I do know that you have Mega Drain and Leech Seed. Leech Seed, I'm more concerned about. Poison Thing did a decent amount. I want to see how much Peck can do. And then I'm gonna switch. Okay, fail, protect, fail, peck. Oh, peck did a lot. That's berry juice, though. Alright, um. Okay, um. This is not good. This protect leech seed situation is horrifying on so many levels. 
exactly. But it's protecting without the lead seed, so that's good. I mean, I have to keep switching over and over again. Oh, no, this is fine. I two-shot it. It doesn't have berry juice anymore. Like, granted, it can protect. I uh, didn't even protect. Nice. Okay, you go to level 8. Horn attack. That's not bad. Not bad. Not stab. Not stab. But 65 base move. That is physical. Jabs the foe with a sharp point. Oh, we're only doing in battle. I can use metronome. Yeah, no, I'm not fucking with that. That metronome might really body me. I mean, if he gets an electric move, then oh well. Magic coat failed because I didn't have bubble beam. Oh, please don't get magic coat again, though. Fake tears. All right, special defense. Berry juice doesn't matter. I two shot you anyway. So. Psych, we crit you, bitch. So I told you I was going to switch between my kid. He got horn attack. I I don't. I think that's what it normally lines, actually. I'm not sure if it normally lines horn attack or not. But if it doesn't, and it does now, not the worst move in the world. Definitely way stronger than Peckard or the Poison Sting. Even though Poison Sting stabs only 15 base power, and Peck's 35 base power, but also not stabs. So I'll take a 65 base power move with stab, or without stab. Still is the strongest move I got. Now, with both poison types, I think I had the stronger poison type move, though. What a strength. Oh, horn attack does a lot. Uh, so can you poison a poison type in this game? I have poison. I have peg. I should have probably been using that. But... Level 9. Let's go. Let's go, king. Let's see. Yeah, peg does a little bit more because of the super effective damage. Yo, King, let's fucking go, bro. This is what I'm going to have a problem with, because the Iron Defense is going to really help it out. Oh, or I'm just going to body it, and now my King's level 10. Yo, you know what? Stay in, King. Stay in, bro. Oh my god, the crits. King, you are the King, bro. Holy shit. We are going to end this video soon. But I might try to... Oh, I have Berry Juice. Now get another crit. I'm going to keep testing it out. Get another crit. This thing can't kill you. Even if it crits, it's only going to do six. Oh, well, it didn't. And King, once again, is now level fucking 11. Okay, King, just take over the fucking controls on this team, baby. Let's go. Let's go, King. Fucking king, man. That's my that's my homie right there now. King's out there. King's out here doing it. Really? I wonder if Hoot Hoot's actually viable in this game. Also, I think they have stat changes too. I think some Pokemon are stronger. Like like the really weak ones, like I like Hoot Hoot would probably be on that list because it's really weak. I I mean this team's not looking bad. I would like to get the rest of my team to King's level right now, but King is just having a fucking... Also, that's another encounter right there. It's going to be another water type, but it's good for me to put into the PC in case I lose something. Even if... Well, if it's another Renly Ring, then it doesn't really matter. But, because then it's dupes at that point, and I believe with the good rod, or with the old rod, I can only get one Pokemon. Like, like I'm only going to be able to catch Renly Ring. So get your ropes. Have fun with it. You don't have to catch this thing. There you go. Oh, caught the ropes. Good job, Wally. <sighs> Alright, dope, dope. Um, I will say this. I don't want Cubone. I've had it before. It's, no. 
So if I get a Cubone, I am not sacking the encounter, but I'm not counting that encounter. I'm going to get anything else. Also, real quick, what am I doing? I'll sit down and fish here. Just to see if it's a Remoraid. Azurel. It's another... I think this kind of doesn't... Wow, it probably got a ball. I don't think fairy type's a thing in this game. I mean, you can keep charming me. I might even be able to get away with a poison sting at that point. I don't know, level 11? Probably not. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. Because if I poison sting it and then it gets poisoned, then it, it dies. So I will catch it. Gotta catch everything out here, man. Female, we'll just call you... We'll call you, you know what, we'll call you Zuri, and that name is from, I'm actually embarrassed to admit this, and it's, I think it's spelled I-E, I'm not sure, but it's from a, it's from like one of those Disney TV shows, I forget what it is, it's had Debbie Ryan in it, she was like a, uh, I forget. But let's see. Is it a normal type, water type? Normal. It has huge power. That's fucking hysterical. Almost would be useful if it didn't have a fucking special tag. But we will move you here in case I ever need you. For some, I, I don't know for any circumstance why I would need that thing. But So no Cubone, anything else goes. I didn't fucking say anything. But it gets bullet seed. That's not bad, actually. I thought it was only going to have bide, but I keep forgetting about the updated movesets and stuff. A Nuzleaf might not be bad. Ah, uh, wait, I already have a grass type. It's named Dottie. It's named Dot. Fuck that. Uh, I already have a grass type, so I'll keep it for now. It's level 7, so it's not a bad level. Uh, but definitely didn't need a grass type. Definitely did not need that. Razor Speed and Sunshine's not bad. Ooh, but it also has Mega Drain. That could come dope handy. Sometimes it's nice to have multiple of type. And also, if I ever find a Leaf Stone, I get it to a Shift Tree, which is also dark, which I also have, but... It's not bad at all. Let's do one more battle. See if we're still at a good level. Let's actually try this. No, wait, you have flying types. Can you see from that far? Wow. That's impressive. Yeah, he has flying types, so this is a horrible idea. But you know what's really good against flying types? Nothing I fucking have, actually. Gust on a Pidgey, not bad. That crit, though. Maybe right, we can finish this thing off. Dude, it does so much damage. I know it's stabbed because I'm fine, but Jesus Christ, you do a shit ton of damage. Wingle. We'll go into the man. The myth, the legend, king. Oh, yeah, you didn't see that coming. Don't hurt yourself. You're a physical attacker. Okay, didn't do that much. I did a little bit more. Oh, I snapped out. You're dead. Good shit. King, you're the man. Tamo. All right, we'll do flying v flying. Who's got the better flying moves, Tamo? Guess what? I have wing attack. Oh, we do very similar damage. How you pick? I was actually worried it was going to go for quick attack there and kill me, but it didn't. Alright, we got the win. You know what? Hold on. I got one more thing I want to try before I end this video. There's a water trainer over here. I know I should use Trico. Here's my issue. Trico's really not the best. And C dot fucking has Mega Drain. And he has Bullet Seed, which are both battled 
both better attacks than what Shrieko has. Like, uh, is he still in the front? So, like, this magic card, just watch, just watch, just watch, just watch. What? It gave Magic Carp fucking bounce? Oh no, that's bad. That's like really bad, actually. I don't even know what to do. The bounce, man. They made Magic Carp deadly? I swear to God, do you also have it? Jeff Water Pulse. Okay, um. Okay, you obviously can't live a Water Pulse. You can't. Please don't have Bounce. Okay, if Water Pulse is all this thing has, we'll be good. Well, it has fucking Hypnosis, so that's not good. So it does a lot, though. Like I said, even if I go to sleep here, if it has bounce, I don't know if I live. But if it just keeps using water pulse, then I'll be fine. Even like through the confusion, I should be good because I'm absorbed will give me back all my health. So that misses. I'm gonna definitely hit myself. That was a guarantee. Now that I'm asleep, it gets rid of the fact that I don't have to hit my health self anymore. Dude, a water posting Feebass, that's kind of disgusting. Also, that just did 6 damage because that was a crit. So, like, that's the shit I'm talking about right there. That's the shit I'm talking about. I'm not counting that death. There's no reason this thing should have facade. I can't expect that. Like, I expect... A better move set, yeah, but for Sad on the Feebass, something that it can't even physically learn? No. Fuck that. Like, here's the thing Remoraid and Octillery can actually learn Psybeam. It learns it later than it has it now, but it learns it. Magikarp can't learn Bounce, but it has it. Also, uh, I mean, it can learn Dive, so. I'm not even mad about that. Like, like moves that they can actually learn, that's fine. But don't all of a sudden spring up a fucking... A fucking facading Feebass. You can lick my nuts with that. And water's gonna be a lot... Hmm... No, I think I'd lose this fight. Just because my Trico died. Like, Love like love Disc with Dive in the Rain is going to... I thought it was going to one-shot me, but it's going to two-shot me. Or three-shot me, but I can't kill it. Okay. This is winnable. Oh, I didn't know why I didn't do this. I almost risked the life of somebody who didn't have to die. I forgot I had Wingle. Clutch out Wingle. Good shit. We'll put you in level 9. Nice. That was rough, to say the least. Is this... Fuck me. Let me get this item heal save, and then we'll be done with the video. See, that's the type of shit I'm talking about right there. Like, how the fuck am I running away from a goddamn hoot hoot? Right, let me just go grab this item. <laughs> Thank you. I have run away, so... Okay. Heal up. Take less. I'm not wasting my revival on that. No reason for that. Feeba should have had. Facade. Fuck that. That's literally garbage, but uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Stop! Games, shit. So, C dot, level 7. Chlorophyll. With Mega Drain, Bullet Seed, and Bide. Not bad. Puccina, level 9. Bite, Send Attack, Tackle. So we have level 7, level 9. Level 8, Absorb, Quick Attack, Pound, Trico. 
level 8 wing attack, what are going to quick attack? Wingle, level 9 Remoraid with Bubble Beam and Psy Beam, and a level 11 King with one attack back and Poison Sting. Really not that bad. A team of 6, which will, after the first gym, probably be like a team of 1, but we'll see. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.